<laughs> we are not. <laughs> so we're not gonna have that. I don't know what this is. <laughs> here for me um, I need to wash clothes I'm gonna open up these packages I'm gonna film some unboxings and then I think tomorrow night I will get around to actually recording these pieces one is some jewelry that I'm excited to show you guys a handbag and this oh a new unit for my hair so hey guys so for today's work wear we have this sheer blouse um it was thrifted however i will link some similar blouses with the bow below this faux leather skirt from top shop i'll see if they still carry it if they do, I will link it below. Um, tights are from Amazon. Shoes are from Zara. And earrings are from a shop that I bought them from when I was traveling. But they do have them on Amazon as well. All right. So this is the outfit for work. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, and this is Jen Restyle and Fashion. Um, over here, we talk about upcycling, thrifting, sewing, styling, and all things fashion, and how we take those thrifted and consigned pieces and incorporate them into our wardrobe to reflect our own personal style. Um, so welcome back this week. If this is your first time tuning in, then be sure to click that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an update. All right, I am outside of the uh, Bentley Gold Coast um, showroom and I'm getting ready to go inside for an event with AIBI. Now, you guys probably remember I took you guys on a tour of the inside of their location, which is in the West Loop in Chicago. But we're here tonight for a Women Inspiring Women event, and we're going inside. All right, let's go. Uh, upload them and you do tag us because it does help grow this event um, our Instagram is Minty Media Productions so with that how's in the world and I started one company first called Model Atelier which is exclusively for vertically blessed women that's what I call us the tall woman yes. <laughs> to like we know I know that I'm coming into a meeting sometimes with advisors or in the industry and I know that I need to over prepare, but I also, it's part of this proving them wrong, right? Like you can ask me whatever you want. I will have an answer for that. And maybe it took me a little bit more time sure. doing my research or getting ready, but all your answer, all your questions will be answered. So I think there's nothing, nothing more in this world that could ever scare you or intimidate you. And that moment, was the moment that transformed have this space a little bit longer we want to thank Perlo Chicago if you're in the market for a car please. <laughs> <laughs> um, for you know being our venue spot um, and yeah thank you so much everybody for coming out and yeah. 
y'all <laughs> it is snowing like crazy we are under a winter storm watch and it's insane because it is the end of March and this makes no sense <laughs> it makes no sense y'all it's cold it's snowing I'm gonna show y'all in a minute how it's looking outside. Okay, we are here at my client's house and she just showed me a dress that she's planning to wear at the upcoming fashion show and I just told her what she needs to put on top of it. So I'm gonna show you the dress and we're gonna work with this. Okay, so this is a dress that she picked up from Akira. And although I think it's great, I think that she needs, it needs to have some shaping. So we're going to do a bustier on top of this dress to give it some shape. She's going to wear these boots, which are super cute. And I'm trying to figure out, can I fit them? So those are the boots that are going to go with it. I think that's gonna be cute. You know we gotta go through all of this. You gonna throw half my shit okay. out. Okay, so she already started putting stuff in the closet, <laughs> and I explicitly told her not to. But we're gonna work on it. It's a beautiful setup. It has so much potential. Edit <laughs> <laughs> that out. All right, we'll be back. I started organizing her items by color, which I think it's good. Um, but I think it's important to organize the closet by items. So right now she's got all of her pants over here. She's got tops down here and she's got jackets over here, but I'm looking in the back where I see some tank tops back there in the corner. So we're gonna move those around. Then here she's got all black, but we need to do black jackets here in front black tops here and then we can do a little bit of white tops in the back so just by looking at her closet i already see where we need to make some improvements um she has so many clothes that have tags on them so that tells me there's something going on with those items that's preventing her from wearing it because she hasn't bought them all new recently um like these these pants. We need to find out why she's not wearing them. And we're going to work on her hanger game. So I'm going to send her over to my Amazon storefront and we're going to get some nice new hangers and pants hangers. We're not going to use the hangers. Huh? No. Um. That's one of the first things that we're gonna do. We're not gonna use the hangers from the store. We're just not gonna do that. Everything is going to be uniform and fit very nicely. The aesthetics of the closet is important because when you walk in your closet, you wanna feel like you are walking into your own personal boutique. And that's what we want this closet to look like. That's what we want the feel to be. So that's what we're gonna do here. All right. So this was part one of working with my client. And um, let's see, let's see what she's got in here. Here's another item. I know she's worn this quite a bit. This is kind of an off the shoulder with ruffles around it. So we're definitely gonna hold on to that. I don't know what this is, but this looks like cuddle, cuddle duds. We need to get this out of the closet. We're not, we're not, we're not doing cuddle duds. This is cute. I might have to borrow this. That's really pretty. That's definitely something you can wear on top. I do not like glitter and sparkle and it's not my thing, but she definitely likes the things that sparkle and glitter and she likes all of that. So we're going to keep these pieces because I know that that's what's important to her. 
Again, not allowing my personal style to interfere with my client. Again, another thing we're gonna put somewhere else because we're not doing sweatshirts and cuddle duds. <laughs> we, we are not. <laughs> we not. We not doing that. Okay. We over. We over a certain age. We not. This is what you wear to take the dog out. So we not gonna have that. I don't know what this is. <laughs> This is enough. This looks like long underwear. We're not putting that. She got five of these tops. Oh my god. No. Only we only need one. We only need one. We only need one. Okay. So we're gonna get rid of all of these janky hangers. And we're gonna get rid of all the cuddle duds. Hey guys. Mm, I think we're two days later. Maybe one day later. I'm not sure. Um, I'm so tired. I've been recording videos, trying to sew. We have a fitting tomorrow. I'm taking you guys with me. Um, I'll show you little excerpts in this video, but the bigger montage will come when I show the whole process. So I'm not ready for this fitting. My pieces are not ready. So we have a fitting today and one on Thursday. Um, I'm going to take this video through the entire week. So leading up to the show. Um, just, you know, I think. I think I am. I'm so tired right now. I need to go to bed. I need to wash this makeup off my face and then go to bed. I got to get up early tomorrow. Um, pack and organize the clothing. And then um, get over to the place where we're doing the fitting. I'm going to try to get there early and get some coffee. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to come back here and review my notes on what I need to do for each piece. So, um, yeah, it's a lot, you guys. But it's spring break week. I'm off the whole week. I'm just going to keep working. I'm just going to keep working and keep pushing. So, see you guys in the morning. Hey, y'all. Good morning. It is the next morning. <laughs> and um, I've already been up um, and shot uh, my look for the handbag, the Teddy Blake handbag. If you haven't already checked them out, um, please visit the link below and check out my Instagram Reels. Um, and my post there about Teddy Blake. Um, I really am impressed with the bag that I received. Um, Italian made and just the craftsmanship is really good. So uh, I'm excited about collaborating with them. So I hope they ask me to do another one because I already know which other bag I would like. Uh, in the meantime, this is my world. Uh, I have uh one two three four five bags of designs that i am on my way over to a plum studios we are doing our fitting this morning i'm taking you guys with me it's gonna be a hectic day um i also need to go to joanne's uh and what else do i need to do today and it's cold it was so cold this morning while i was trying to shoot y'all i thought i was going i thought my fingers were gonna fall off that's how bad it was it was so cold so i gotta go load the car up um, i have a zoom call with my family so i need to do that and um just get myself to get look at my dog look at him that's where he decided he wants to sit really really jinx that's what we're doing all right i had to get him up off of there all right i'll see you guys when we get to this I'm headed to the studio. Oh, oh. I'm headed to the studio for our first fitting for Revolution Runway. Have you gotten your tickets yet? I hope so, because you see all of this stuff I love it? It's for you guys for next week. Come to the show. Six Chicago-based designers showcasing their beautiful creations.
you guys, we are here at the studio getting ready to start on our fittings. Alright you guys, we are back here in a plum studio for our fittings. Models are getting fitted with the designers and it's almost here. The countdown to the show is almost over. <laughs> All right, y'all, I don't know how much you saw. I accidentally left the camera running and not pointed in the right direction. It was so hectic today and so many of my models didn't show up and I have two bags of clothes that I don't have a model for. So I gotta send emails when I get home, run these models down. Um, I hate to double up, but you know, it kind of is what it is. Uh, right now, I'm starving. I want to eat right now. And although I have food at home, I'm going to get myself some vittles. And then I will go home. I'm also going to stop by Joanne's. When I was at the AIBI place a few weeks ago, you guys have not seen that video yet. I'm so far behind on videos. Um, there was a... Uh, upcycler denim designer next door and he had this huge puffer coat that like took up half the wall and I was like I want to do something puffery <laughs> I want to puffy something so I'm gonna go buy some stuffing and figure out what can I stuff to make like a puffer or something and do like a little quilting or something and put some denim on it and yeah so anyway um i i have to get my mind focused although i'm off this week i need to figure out what i'm doing when and when i'm going to get it done otherwise i'm going to be in a boatload of trouble so let's get this day going the rest of the day let's get some food first hey y'all it's monday I'm grateful that I'm off this week for spring break because the show is Saturday. So we are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days from the show. And I'm not done. We had the fitting yesterday and I just feel overwhelmed. Like, I don't think it's going to get done. I'm not going to have the pieces that I thought I was going to have. It's really disappointing. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to change this battery. I'll be back. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Well, I woke up with a mission in mind and a battery that's dying. <laughs> So let me go change it so we can talk about um, a little bit of skincare and the reel that I'm about to create. All right. Be right back. All right. So um, got up this morning, walked the dogs, um, got in the shower, and... Um, decided that the first thing I need to do this morning before I jump into starting to sew is record a couple of reels so that I can have some content for the rest of the week. If I don't do it now, it's going to be really difficult for me um, to do that because once I get on that sewing machine, it's like, go, 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 go. Um, and it's not quite 7 a.m. yet. So which is good because I'm trying to 
you know, get this early start and get myself going. So, um, you guys know, I think I've shared this with you. Um, I washed my face with the CeraVe um, facial cleanser. And I really like that because it's the first soap that I've used on my face that when I'm done, I almost forget to moisturize because it's so hydrating and I just love it. Um, I swear by the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme. Um, this moisturizer is just, it's just great. It's so creamy um, and thick. And um, the good thing about it is that um, it comes with like this jar I've had for like three years. And the um, insert you can just buy because this stuff is so expensive. And I couldn't imagine having to buy the jar and everything at once. That would be like $130. So um, you just buy the insert and I'll link it below. Uh, a lot of times they're running a sale, but I just think it's great. Uh, but before I put that on, I do use the um, Clarion's Double Serum. Um, I also swear by this as well. Um, I recommend that you get yourself a good serum. It doesn't have to be that. I know um, Olive Olay makes one that's probably a little more affordable, uh, but... This stuff right here, I do one or two pumps on the face and neck, and I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to wear my wig in this video. I just don't really feel like dealing with the hair. Um, All right, well, you guys have seen me um, go through this process braiding my hair down to put it under the wig. Um, this process usually takes me about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, but I decided to go with the wig today because I just have not been caring for my hair like I should lately. Also, I'm overdue to share with you guys my two year update. So that will be coming really soon. Um, so just a quick makeup review. I do use a primer prior to adding my foundation. Um, I use the Bobbi Brown in the color Warm Almond. I actually love Bobbi Brown. Um, I think it melts into my skin really well. Um, I thought about trying some other products and I might later on, um, but I will add all the products that I'm using to my LTK store. If you're looking for a great makeup brush, this one by Bobbi Brown is fantastic. Um, I actually wash it in Dawn soap and let it dry and it's great. Um, I do put my concealer on and let it set for a minute before I start to blend it. I just find that it blends better. Um, and then I kind of fill in my brows um, full disclaimer I did have my eyebrows microbladed back during the pandemic so I am very much overdue but the pigment is still there so I don't have to do much um, again I'm using the Bobbi Brown bronzer and um, the highlighter is also a Bobbi Brown I just use a little bit of that again a really quick beat um, and then I set all of this with the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder I really like that um, you notice it kind of gives me a matte finish but I do go in with um, the face mist um, and that actually gives me a nice kind of glow um, and so and then I'm done all right let's get into uh, making and creating this content all right I do need to buy a curling iron um, I haven't owned a curling iron in a couple of years when I locked my hair I gave the ones I had away because I didn't need them um, and the wigs that I was wearing primarily I would um, flexi rod them, you know, I'd set and flexi rod them. So I didn't need 
a curling iron uh, because I would always set. But then I got this wig, which I love. I will link it below. Um, and after I wash it, the bangs get straight and I need the bangs to be bumped. <laughs> so these are actually still bumped from when I was on my trip. Um, one of my girlfriends had a curling iron and she let me um, bump. But I like also to have the front kind of bumped in as well. And it's losing it because this hair is getting old and I need to wash it. So anyway, we are all set. Um, I have on this white Hugo Boss shirt that I thrifted. And it is a tuxedo shirt. And the buttons are really hard to close. All right, we're gonna go all the way up because we're gonna wear this new camo tie that I made. All right, so I am putting on Y'all are going to have to excuse the mess because nothing is getting cleaned until after the show. Just know that. Give me a little more light. Yeah, I, I'm not even, I'm not going to stress myself over it. My house is a wreck, but hey, I got to get this show taken care of. Once we're done with the show, um, the show is on Saturday, so it's in four days, five days, four days, yep, Tuesday, today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days is the show. Um, Sunday, I am going to start getting my house back in order. As you all, by now you've seen the video where I turned my living room into my studio. <laughs> and so shit is just everywhere. I mean, it looks like a tornado just ran through. It looks a mess. Anyway, this dress I'm wearing is uh, a couple years old, I think from Amazon. Yeah, it's a couple years old. Anyway, I like it. I bought it in two colors. I should have bought it in more colors. And if I wasn't on this no buy, I would buy some more colors. And well, let me go back and check. Because I've been really good and that we're coming up on 90 days. All right, you guys. I think I'm going to do one more change. And then I got to get, I got to get the show on the road, you all. We got to get to sewing. Although I do feel really good about where I am um, today. Sorry, I'm all up in the camera, but I feel really good. Uh, so I put on these jeans that are very ripped and I need to turn the TV down. Um, really holy jeans. I love the distressed and I love the way they fit. Oh my gosh, these are like, these are one of my favorite pair of jeans right now um i think i want to fill in the hole so i i'm looking for some fabric i can put in there but i thought maybe i would wear this skirt over the jeans so we're gonna try that out now to put this over the jeans it's a little it's a little thick so i'm gonna tie it so the buttons get a little closer cute it does it looks cute on with the pants so this is the first time i've done skirt over pants and i love it hey y'all so we went and grabbed something to eat we had cocktails and now we are at the studio picking up the rest of the stuff so this is me in the front seat my feet are literally on the dashboard and she's still trying to get this bin in the car. So what I did was I smashed this bag here in the middle. The whole trunk is full. This is all fashion show stuff. Bring, but let's come back and get that tomorrow. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Ooh, say hi. Hi vlog. That's 20 Pearls party decor. 
She got me sandwiched in here like a sausage. <laughs> I do. I can't even move. You can't. All right, let's see what time is it. It's only 5.30, so the dogs are ready to EAT, but I'm not ready to F-E-E-D them. So we're just gonna get some hugs. We're gonna get some fuzzy, fuzzy baby hugs. That's my big boy right here. That's my big baby. That's Jax. He's super excited and nervous. He's always shaking. Say hi to the people. You want to say hi to the vlog? Say hi. I'm an old man. I'm going to be 14 next month. Yeah. That's one. That's one baby. Oh, and then we got the little baby. There's the little baby. There's a little baby. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to try to work on this skirt because it's a challenge. It is a challenge. And the other thing that I would like to get done is um, I, want my, um, I want my models to have a handbag. I want them all to have like a little, like a mini bag or a really big oversized bag. Something that's like chunky that they can carry. So I need to do that too. All right, I'll be back later on this evening when I finally do the email to the models. See ya. So I'm trying this lavender oat drink. Hope I like it. All right, you guys. All right, so first, ooh. All right, I had to zip up my jacket. It is, you know, it is 30 degrees today in Chicago. So much for spring. It doesn't even exist. All right, so first impressions. I definitely taste the lavender. This is actually pretty good. So this is the oat milk lavender latte. I like it. It's good. All right, you guys, I left my camera at home because I had not planned to do go anywhere other than grabbing coffee, um, but Something tells me to go and check them out. Today is Wednesday, and you know, that midweek is often treasures, plus the color change yesterday. So, there's a new color that is on sale today. Now, The key is to go in there, look at the stuff behind the counter, and see if I can find any new white shirts. That's the key. They need to be new with tags on them. I need them to not have been worn so I can- Turn right onto East Van Buren Street, so then I turn left. So that I can just um, throw them in the washing machine. What? Why are there never any parking spaces? The destination is on your right. Goodwill of Southeastern Wisconsin and Metropolitan Chicago. Yeah, it is on my right. Arrived. There is not a parking space to be had. Right, this was supposed to be a quick run because I really did need to get back to sewing and doing some other things but 
I was really on the right track this morning to go to the thrift store. There were so many gems and so many goodies. I cannot even begin to tell you. <laughs> so I'm glad that I went. Uh, the best time to go is definitely during the week. Uh, I do not thrift on the weekends because it is just too many people and things are too picked over. So I choose a morning during the week and I go. It's just the best way to go. Um, I find these great uh, leather, red leather boots that I um, thought were perfect for my models. And that was mainly what I was at the thrift store for was to buy shoes for the models. Now, why I picked up those boots, I just thought they were nice. I mean, they were beautiful purple on the inside. I ended up putting them back. Uh, but I found so many of these like booties with the heel and the chunky soles. I don't know. I'm just, I'm very, I gravitate towards these types of boots. Um, these were also from Zara. I'm finding a lot of Zara in the thrift store lately. All right. Um, so I found these boots. I thought these would be nice on the runway with one of the shorter skirts. Uh, it's kind of a snakeskin over the knee type boot. Um, I found a couple of blazers, looked around to see if there were any tops. I don't know why I was looking for tops. I'm supposed to stay away from clothing. Yeah. Okay, now I'm headed to the counter, which is where I should have gone first to see what they have. This is how you know you have a problem. Well, this is not the only way you know you have a problem. Like these would be perfect for upcycling. These little boots here. Okay, I'm not, uh, I wanna stop at the men's section, but I'm gonna go to the counter first. Stay focused, Jen. Stay focused. Now, look at these. They, they don't fit. They're a 40. They are way too big. Okay, a couple other things. All right, those are too big. Um, can I see the Gucci brown? Yep, and then those um, Doc Martens on the bottom. Yeah, not bad. Those look like mine. <laughs> uh, what about the ones behind him? Are those any smaller? Like the ones with the heel? Uh, new ink? Ooh. Killer Freaking. clowns from outer space. Hey. Hey. No, I think so, actually. I'm going to try these on. Ooh. You guys, look at these Doc Martens. Finally found a pair of Doc Martens. But Doc Martens. I finally found my Doc Martens, y'all. I have been on the lookout for so long. So long. I've been looking for that New York hat in green for so long. And they had it here. Oh, what's this I need to see what that is. Oh, Nico, where's the other one? Oh, right behind you. On the right. Hey, Josh, you got some clips? And can I offer you a reusable bag for 99 cents? Um, you know what? I'm going to pass. I got a ton of them in my car. No so. Okay. Made in Italy. Those are cute. They are. And it's Italian, so you know the quality's gonna be good too. And they look like they are my size. There you go. Yum. Oh. That's beautiful. Isn't it? Ralph Lauren too. Yeah. Oh, it's still got the original tags on it. Oh yeah. Alright, well that's green tag. I will definitely keep it in mind. Okay. I think I'm good with what I got. You got it. Okay, this is something that you rarely see at the thrift store. Um, and if you do, you gotta grab them quick. So I'm looking to see if there are any pots that I need because 
probably can't beat the price. Like these are five dollars. These are two dollars. That's not bad. These are two dollars. I'm tempted, but I'm trying to go small, minimal. But if you live in Chicago, come get them. I just found the largest jacket that I could find that was kind of cute, but it's really blue. It's not gray. And it's half off, it was $4. So I'm gonna try and experiment before the show and see if it works. Okay, you guys, I successfully did not buy any clothing. Uh, I'm about to check out and see which ones of these shoes I'm actually gonna keep. Let's go see what kind of damage we're doing. Okay, so I told a lie. I am leaving with two pair, two, a jacket and, okay, now these are cute. These are something that my girlfriend Sherry would like. See that sparkle? These are an eight, but if they're a little discolored, she likes sparkly stuff like that. Um, I'm leaving with two men's blazers, so my car that's crazy all right so I just came back to where the dressing room is and I ran across this little two-piece set um, and then this blazer Kenneth Cole it's only five bucks I could definitely see myself doing something with that we're gonna grab it Hey okay, y'all. <laughs> so Goodwill started this new thing with their shopping carts and they lock when you get to the door. So you can't remove the carts from the store. So I had to go back to my car, get my car and come back and get my stuff because I had a whole cart load of items. I had a whole basket of shoes y'all. But when I tell you there's no way I could have gotten a pair of Burberry shoes for 30 bucks, and they are gonna go on Poshmark. So you guys will see this long before they go up on my Poshmark. I will post my Poshmark um, in the description box and if anybody wants them, I will ship them to you. Yeah, let me go get my stuff. All right, so, <laughs> I mean, these Marc Jacob boots are so flipping cute. Oh, they are so cute. Look at that heel. And it looks like this person probably wore them like once because you can tell there's a little wear on the bottom of the shoe, but the inside you know shapers are still in there but they look really good I wish that they were my exact size because I would probably keep them but we're gonna use these for the models um, I got Burberry and I got three men's blazers um, and I got a pair of Tory Burch boots Y'all see these? Tory Burch. Yep. I wish these were my size because they would be getting worn. I got these for the models for the weekend. Um, these are Zara. They're leather. They're really nice too. I mean, they're such that soft leather. So they just need a good shine. All right, we are going home because if I don't get these last pieces done, I'm gonna be effed up tomorrow at the fitting. The fitting is tomorrow at four. I was able to reschedule my live broadcast for the show I'm doing in Atlanta to next week because I am just not ready. I have so much going on trying to get ready for Saturday. I just can't, because that would mean makeup, hair, 
you know, just clothes. It, it's just too much for me to try to do for tomorrow. I, I just can't. I need to focus on this fitting and getting these pieces done. I still have five pieces. These are my extras. These are my cushion. These are my pieces that will replace a piece in case it doesn't work for the model or my spirit isn't feeling a piece when I'm there. I have to have those cushion pieces because otherwise, you know, if I just go with the 15 that we're supposed to have for the show, if I pull something, then I won't have the full amount. So that's what these extra five pieces that I'm working on. And then I have a surprise piece that I'm keeping my fingers crossed keeping my fingers crossed and I think I know I think I know the um, model that I'm going to use for the surprise piece alright you guys we're getting back home getting on the sewing machine we're not playing <laughs>